I, I want to, to thank the, the organization for having invited me and thank you to, to you all. Um, some details uh, on, my, on my activity. Uh, I, I have been involved in uh, countering organized crime uh, uh, since uh, 1992. And uh, in the recent years, uh, I'm, I was involved in uh, countering terrorism, uh, domestic terrorism and international terrorism. Uh, I had the responsibility of uh, the Department of uh, Anti-Terrorism Anti -terrorism in Milan, uh, that is the most important in Italy for, uh, for countering terrorism. And then I, I went to the National Directorate Directorate in Rome, anti-mafia and anti-terrorism, uh, as a national deputy uh, with the responsibility of uh, uh, the investigations uh, in all my country concerning uh, terrorism. Uh, so this is uh, the experience uh, I, I would like to offer to you. Uh, this is, uh, I think, also the experience of my country. So um, I prefer to uh, not to, to make a presentation in, uh, with a PowerPoint. I do not have a PowerPoint about the characteristics of our system. I think you, uh, you can find these characteristics, but uh, I leave my mail to the organization, so uh, if you need something, it's not difficult for me to answer, and it's, uh, it's a commitment for me, it's a pleasure for me. Uh, I, I, I would prefer to, to offer to, you, to everybody a short over, overview of the questions of organized crime in my country, and to try to explain what we did in, in the recent years and uh, how it's possible uh, to, to counter this, this kind of, uh, uh, of crime. And uh, uh, the president of uh, Medell said an important thing when uh, he, he did the, the presentation of us. Uh, he remind, reminded to you uh, the, the meaning of the 23 of May in my country but I think uh, uh, every way. Uh, that, uh, that day is uh, particular for us in Italy, but uh, f I think uh, for uh, everybody. Uh, as he said, uh, a judge in jail is not a good uh, thing, uh, not at all, and uh, uh, a judge killed by mob is a terrible thing. Uh, I can't explain everything, but I think you know a lot about this, this case. I just want to remember that uh, Falcone was killed with a terrible explosion with uh, her wife and three bodyguards to uh, enforce guard, I, I, I don't know if the term is correct, uh, explosed and uh, the explosion uh, was led by distance, and uh, uh, there were, I, I, I remember, 500 kilos of tritolo to destroy the highway and to make uh, this explosion. This is, this is 1992. It's a long period, but uh, I was working. You were working. I think it's, uh, it's uh, our history. It's not maybe our past. It's, uh, I think it's the present. But uh, I, I, I want to remind you something more. Uh, after two months, but less than two months, Paolo Bersellino, who was the best friend of Giovanni Falcone and was deputy attorney, deputy prosecutor in, uh, in Palermo with the responsibility of uh, anti-mafia, was killed in another terrible explosion, this time in the center of Palermo. Uh, five members of the bodyguards were killed with him, also a young woman who uh, was making the job. 
maybe you don't know another thing that is quite significant for, for the history of my country, that uh, in uh, uh, the next year, 1993, uh, mafia decided uh, to attack not in Sicily, but uh, to uh, make uh, attacks and ex explosions in uh, places of uh, art and of history in Italy. Milano, Firenze, and Rome, with uh, a lot of deaths. And this is uh, an incredible fact for my, for my country because it's difficult to understand this decision of a, a, a mob organization to, uh, to attack uh, these kind of places. It's a question of, uh, of culture. It's a question of, it's a different uh, uh, situation than uh, killing uh, the magistrates. Uh, and this is Cosa Nostra. This is a, a mafia uh, siciliana, mafia from Sicily. And this was Cosa Nostra in, in those years because uh, it was controlled by a particular group uh, called uh, Corleonesi that had this idea to attack the state. That is a particular idea uh, for the criminal organization. But as you know, as uh, you know very well, uh, Cosa Nostra is one of the mafia group in Italy. And now, surely not the most important. You have Andrangheta, you have uh, Andrangheta that is really important. And it's really important in my country, but it's really strong in your countries. As you know, as you have to know, because Andrangheta, I, um, I think, is uh, more or less uh, every, everywhere. Uh, uh, but uh, mafia, <laughs> so Cosa Nostra, Andrangheta, and so on, uh, it's uh, uh, one aspect of the criminal problem in my country. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, speaking about uh, organized crime, serious organized crime. Uh, we had uh, domestic terrorism. And we had this kind of crime, of criminality, in an incredible way. Because we had, at the same time, left-wing terrorism and right-wing terrorism. In the same period, eh, in the same period, more or less, of the activities of, uh, of uh, uh, mafia groups. And uh, right-wing terrorism and left-wing terrorism are different, really different. Because uh, left-wing terrorism um, is uh, characterized by the selection of victims, of vi victims sorry, journalists, workers, magistrates, police officers, politicians, arriving, as I think you know, to the kidnapping of Aldo Moro, the most famous uh, politician in, in that period, the most important candidate to become the president of the Republic in Italy. And he remained kidnapped, I don't know if it's the, 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 the expression is correct, for uh, f uh, 55 days and then he was killed, and uh, uh, when he was kidnapped, uh, all the bodyguards were, were killed. This is uh, left-wing terrorism. We have uh, right-wing terrorism that have uh, different characteristics because it attacked the civil population. Often I make a comparison between uh, left, uh, between right-wing terrorism and jihadism terrorism, because uh, uh, they they attack civil population, but it's not enough in the mean in the meaning that uh, right-wing terrorism had ties with the f with or to the framework of the secret services coming from the fascism. 
And uh, this kind of uh, secret services coming out from the fascism uh, had the, the characteristic to, po to pollute the investigations. So the investigations were very, very difficult. Uh, we are uh, now trying to solve some investigation concerning facts of, uh, uh, of the 70s, of the 80s, with a lot of deaths. So if I, 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 I don't like to, to speak in this way because I'm speaking about my, my country, but uh, I'm speaking about organized crime, and this is the situation. And uh, uh, as you know, everywhere is uh, going to is, uh, is studied the nexus, the possible nexus between uh, terrorism and uh, or, uh, organized crime and mafia group. Uh, I make part of uh, a lot of uh, structures uh, called to, to, to try to study this kind of uh, relations. But it's not important this now. It's important to uh, to say that uh, these, uh, two orga these two kind of organized crime, ter domestic terrorism and the mafia groups, have some common characteristics. Uh, they, they are really dangerous for the country, not for people of the country, for the country. They have uh, a, an incredible, uh, but incredible maybe not, but a significant level of internal secrecy. So it's really, really difficult. It was in the past, but it's also now difficult to enter in the organizations. And there are not uh, so many methods, uh, so many uh, tools to enter. And uh, they have um, a part of this consideration is the secrecy, but not only the secrecy. They have a, a great organization. They have rules. Uh, they have uh, a lot of rules concerning the life of the group, the activities of the group. And uh, here we are talking about uh, the nexus between uh, efficacy and, uh, and, uh, and the legal rule, but these organizations have, has, have uh, sorry, an incredible capacity to be effective. Uh, when we had the first, uh, uh, you know this, this history, but the first uh, pentiti, I think you know the, the, the term, uh, Tommaso Buscetta and so on, you know that uh, Cosa Nostra reacted in an incredible way. And uh, Cosa Nostra and Drangheta uh, uh, always say that they have the capacity to, to, to kill until the seventh generation. This is the, the expression they use. And they use also when the, we, uh, we interrogate them. They say we have this capacity. So, the reason I uh, was making this not uh, light presentation, not light, is uh, to understand that we had to counter these ki this kind of criminal phenomena. And it was not easy. It was not easy to be effective and to respect the rule of law. That is our characteristic. I think, I hope, it's the character, I, I, I know it's uh, the characteristic of, of all countries, but you remember, you know, that in my country, the public uh, prosecution service is independent and autonomous, autonom I don't know the, the, the correct word, uh, from every other power. We make part of the one judiciary system with the judges and in all period, all governments, they want to, to touch our independence uh, and autonomy. 
and we have to defend it because we think it's really, uh, really important for, not for us, maybe also for us, but for, uh, for uh, the population. So, uh, when we had to counter these two phenomena, we had to elaborate, to create uh, a global system of contrast. Sometimes uh, we, we started with terrorism and we went to organized crime, sometimes the opposite. For example, and this is not easy, I, I, I should speak a lot and I, I don't want to speak a lot. We, uh, we made uh, uh, in Italy, we, we had the, the, maybe the first legislation in Europe about Pentiti. And uh, in Europe, it was, I think, the first legislation. It, it, it comes from the experience of uh, the witness uh, protection system of the uh, United States. Uh, and this system was uh, built at the beginning for terrorists because we had, uh, we, we wanted to enter the organization and to know the internal of the organizations. And we could do that with Pentiti. It's difficult. It's really difficult in Italy everywhere. And then we discussed if to pass this form of uh, legislation to, to uh, Cosa Nostra, to Mafia Group. And we did that. And now we have a law that uh, is, uh, is, um, you can use uh, uh, for both uh, phenomena. It, this is an important law because we have the necessity to enter the organization, to counter them in an effective way. Um, other things uh, uh, was born uh, for countering organized crime. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, first, the first thing, for example, is the, the specialization of the office of a prosecutor. Uh, as you probably know, we have uh, a structure called, uh, called Direzioni Distrettuali Antimafia that is a, a specialized group of uh, prosecutors uh, that works against mafia. And we have a director, a directorate national that has a role of coordination and of impulse of, of investigations. And this system was born in antimafia. And now it has been extended to terrorism. But uh, I, uh, I, 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 I don't want to speak too much. So, uh, but I want to do some, uh, some more reflections. Another step I would like to, to, to offer to you, uh, if it's possible to discuss with you, is uh, the, 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 the international terrorism. The, the fact that in, uh, in 2001, uh, someone says, but uh, we know everybody, uh, surely the, the, the colleague who has spoken before me, uh, it's not the first moment of a uh, manifestation of international terrorism. We had uh, uh, great uh, attacks against America before that, uh, that day. But generally, you consider that day the, the, the 11th September, the, the, the first manifestation of uh, jihadist uh, terrorism. It's not correct, but it's, uh, it's the, the, the moment uh, we had to face all over the world with different methods, surely different between uh, uh, United States from Europe, surely different in uh, significant ways. But I just wanted to say that coming from what I told you before, this kind of organization, of a criminal organization in the country, and this level of the danger for the country, when international uh, terrorism uh, went, went out in that way, we were on place. We knew the phenomenon. In uh, uh, 2000, and maybe also the, the day before, we were working about the most important hub of radicalization existing in Italy. We had clear the significance of uh, 
hub of, of radicalization and the necessity to enter in those kind of places and to see and to know what is happening. A, but I want to say just some more things. So it's, uh, it's just uh, a series of, uh, of thoughts. But uh, uh, also countering international terrorism, we had to face with the question much more significant in that sector of the rule of law and of uh, the defense of the rights of everybody, if, even if a jihadist terrorist. And we did that as I am sure you do in all countries, but it's not easy first. And it's different. This is important for me. I think, I hope it's important for you. It's different to, to try to, uh, to act, to, to investigate, uh, respecting the rule of law against this kind of terrorism. And it's not, it's not easy in, in all countries. And we, in Italy, we are independent. And we want to be independent. So I, I just make an example. I do not have a PowerPoint, but I could carry it with me. I, I didn't think about that. Maybe you know, I'm, I'm speaking again uh, uh, over questions regarding the United States. And so <laughs> okay. um, maybe you know the, the, the question of um, Abuomar. Uh, Abu Omar is the, the, uh, the code name, the, the battle name of uh, an Egyptian, an Egyptian who was a leader of uh, an important hub of radicalization in Milan. Probably, surely, now I explain why, he was a terrorist. But what happened in Milano, in Milano, so in Europe, so it happened uh, a, a fact that I think has happened also in some of your countries. I think real easy, called in the United States, called extraordinary rendition. In Italy, we call it, and I think it should be all over Europe in a different way. So this is a crime. This is a privation of freedom. This is a serious privation of freedom because it has a function, it has a, a goal to, to detain the person uh, not in a legal system and to have uh, torture against him. Maybe discussing about a concept that is incredible for me of uh, a modic quantity of uh, Torture, because uh, someone thinks that waterboarding uh, could be admitted and it's something uh, not so significant. Uh, so, what happened in Italy? It happened, uh, and not easy thing, but it happened. We are independent, and so uh, we decided, uh, according to law, to proceed against the, the officers of the CIA who had worked in Milano, uh, who had kidnapped him. We tried to, to charge also the, the leader, the chiefs, the chiefs of our secret services. And we had a lot of questions with all the governments, not just, uh, sorry for, but not just Silvio Berlusconi, but also the other governments because uh, they didn't want to, to, to let us know what it happened really and uh, what was the level of cooperation of uh, the secret services, Ita Italian secret services with American secret services. And we tried to do that and we thought it was our job. I'm sure it's my job, but it's not easy. And I think I... I, uh, I uh, often speak about this question uh, also with uh, some uh, school of magistrate that uh, in other countries it happened. 
but I, I, I don't remember uh, other charges in, uh, in, other, in, other country, in other countries. So I think that uh, an important issue, an important question is uh, the, 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 the constitutional rules concerning the public prosecution service. But it's not enough. Uh, three minutes and then, uh, because we have the, the debate. Uh, this is in a positive question. Uh, just uh, I want just to, to put the question, then maybe we will discuss about that. Uh, there is a um, there is a very important uh, question of culture, of culture of cooperation, of culture of trust between magistrates. Because the phenomena I was talking about are, are supranational. It's not a question of discussion. The mafia groups are supranational. They work everywhere. Drangheta is everywhere. Drangheta has the capacity to make a first with all the organizations, the criminal organizations. A terrorist jihadist. You, you can call about Al-Qaeda, but you see the passage from Al-Qaeda to Islamic State, and the, the two organizations are, for definition in our law, but in, I think also in your law, are supranational. And so I'm sure of one thing, and this is what I try to do in, uh, uh, during my activity, I think that this kind of, uh, of criminality can be countered also, uh, sorry, only at a supranational level. It's, it's necessary because if you, pretend, if you think you can combat it in your country, you make an incredible mistake because you, you will catch a, a little piece of the, the activity. The activity is conducted in Italy and uh, in France and in Spain, and uh, the attack is uh, leaded, uh, I don't know where. And so we have, I'm uh, speaking with magistrates, this is not a, a meeting on, on terrorism, but this is important. I, 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 and this is what I did in, uh, in uh, a lot of years. We must have the capacity to coordinate ourselves in a spontaneous way. This is allowed. Everybody asked me, but it's not allowed. I, I had uh, questions in my country when, when I decided to, do, to have this approach. It's allowed and uh, it's necessary. Uh, I want just to, 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 to finish, I think, to finish, because I, I want to explain the, the, the philosophy, the, the cultural uh, method that is really significant. Uh, when I had, and I had information concerning, uh, just an example, the, the, the bombing in Madrid in uh, March 2004 or something just like that. And this information uh, concerned Spain or France or Belgium or United States. Uh, what I did was simple. Uh, I had this information, this information was significant for another country, and I had to give this information to the other country. It's not, uh, I, I, I can't wait. I can't discuss uh, with uh, my colleague or uh, police or law enforcement of the, the government about uh, the possibility that uh, this is dangerous for my investigation because maybe there will be a, uh, how do you call it? Um, I don't know the, 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 the correct term in English, but the, the violation of secrecy. Uh, no, no, it, it doesn't matter. You must have trust. You must contact your colleagues. You must decide together what to do. This is really, really uh, important. I would like to speak about that a lot because this is my uh, subject and I did this kind of job for, for, a, long, for a long period. Uh, I, I, I want to finish because I have the debate and I'm sorry, I, maybe I... I used too, too much time, 
but uh, <laughs> I want to, to remind you um, a phrase of uh, Giovanni Falcone. I started with Giovanni Falcone. It's, it's not bad to close with him. Uh, he, he said when uh, he had an incredible danger for his life, he knew very well he would have been killed, okay? But he worked normally. And he said that, that uh, he, he spoke about mafia, but uh, I speak about uh, this kind of organizations, of criminal organizations. Uh, he said uh, that mafia is uh, a, a human phenomenon. A, uh, a, as every human phenomenon, uh, he, it started, it has his life, and then he finishes. It's, uh, it's uh, our role to, uh, to, to use the instruments, to, uh, to be independent, and to uh, try to reach this uh, result. Uh, I finished. Sorry for my English, but uh, this is the best I could do. Thank you.